Anti-war protests reignited from coast to coast on Friday, the same day President Biden outlined an Israeli peace proposal to end the war in Gaza. In New York City, police arrested protesters and the Brooklyn Museum was forced to close early as demonstrators packed the lobby, while at Columbia University, protesters set up a new encampment. In California, police in riot gear arrested more than 80 protesters at UC Santa Cruz. As for the outlined peace proposal, Israel's three-phase plan would start with an initial six-week ceasefire, the withdrawal of Israeli forces from populated areas, an influx of humanitarian aid into the enclave, and the release of some hostages. The second phase would see the release of the remaining living Israeli hostages in exchange for Palestinian prisoners. And the final phase would be a major internationally funded reconstruction of Gaza. MTS Tayyab has more now from East Jerusalem. It's time for this war to end, for the day after to begin. As President Biden outlined the framework of the three-phase agreement, the war in Gaza raged on. A CBS News team was at the Al-Aqsa Hospital in Deir al-Bala following the aftermath of a deadly Israeli strike. Some survivors carried with them the dismembered remains of those killed wrapped in blankets. President Biden, signaling awareness of Israel's own fraught politics, called on Israeli leaders to resist pressure from far-right politicians who are part of the governing coalition. They want to keep fighting for years, and the hostages are not a priority to them. Well, I've urged the leadership in Israel to stand behind this deal, despite whatever pressure comes. At the Jabalia refugee camp, Palestinians returned to the bombed-out ruins of what was once Gaza's most densely populated neighborhoods. For the past three weeks, Israel has been battling what it called a resurgent Hamas there. In a statement, Hamas said it was ready to engage positively with the proposal, but only if Israel clearly announces commitment to such a deal. A deal which can't come soon enough for the people of Gaza. We can pretty much always hear like sounds of war, like in the background. Ryan Kerr is an American paramedic and trauma nurse from Albuquerque, New Mexico, who's been witnessing the horrors of war in Gaza for over a month now. I guess I decided to take the video just to to capture like what it looked like. Um, just as the sun was setting, there were people there. All the buildings were were still standing upright. Um, and two weeks later, driving through at nighttime, it was just a completely different scene. If you could speak to President Biden, what would you say to him? It would just be to ask him to, to do what he can to make this stop. You just want the war to end? Yeah, I think deciding that killing people to solve a problem is probably the worst way to go about it. And so far, there's only been a brief statement from Prime Minister Netanyahu's office, which acknowledged support for the outline of the deal announced by the president, but also insisted that the war would not end until Israel's objectives were achieved. Now, that includes the returning of all the hostages and the elimination of Hamas's military and governing capabilities. Michelle. MTS, thank you.